What's up, what's up, what's up? Hello, hello, hello! It's Sunday. It's officially Sunday everywhere. So it's got to be Sunday where you are because it's after midnight here. So as you guys hop on, if, let's just say, if you hop on, <laughs> This will probably be most of the people watching this will probably watch on a replay tomorrow in the morning, but y'all, our refrigerator and freezer behind me are totally a figment of your imagination. They don't work. It's totally just there until the new refrigerator freezer gets brought in uh, a week from Tuesday. <laughs> So we we have to buy ice and keep it. We don't have enough room in the freezer, the actual freezer, to keep it frozen. So we literally have an ice chest in our kitchen. This is high tech, guys. High tech. Anyways, um, <laughs> we have been pretty uh, non-existent today on social media. Um, and so I just wanted to come on and say hello we missed you all <sighs> we um for those of you well, hi hello my name is Jenny Curry <laughs> uh, we live here in Sumner Washington my husband and we have five kids together um, but I'm in the beginning stages of a 90-day run with our company with our business um, and so that just means that you run hard, um, for 90 days straight. Um, and normally that would mean like literally nothing but work, um, for the majority of those 90 days. Right. And, um, you can make it however you decide to make it. You know, if that means you're going to work eight hours a day, or if that means you're going to work 12 hours a day, or if that means whatever that means for you, um, and base your, your hours and your working hours and all that kind of stuff on your goals. Well, one of the things that, um, changed, I'd say changed for us in the last year, um, was when Ricky got COVID and was in ICU for those 34 days, um, and I didn't get to see him, I didn't get to talk to him, I didn't get to any, anything. I mean, I got to talk to him um, there the last couple of days right before he got to come home, but I literally didn't even get to see him. I literally put him in the hospital the day after his 43rd birthday, and then... I didn't see him again for 34 days, like physically in person. And so one of the things that for me was a non-negotiable for these 90 days is that I put my phone away and I look my husband in the eye and I laugh with my husband and I talk to him about other things than just our kids and just our business and just and just and just and I actually just spend time getting to know him again and um like just having that time with him and so um I was off social media put my phone down and just spent time with him today um so I will not apologize for that so if um, somebody asks me, hey, you know, I haven't seen you around or whatever, um, priorities are never in conflict. And he's one of my priorities. My kids are one of my priorities. So, um, so yeah, there's that. <laughs> that was just a, that was just a, um, I don't know why I felt like I needed to tell you that. But anyways, so we decided to, um, we have a date night most Saturday nights is the day we go. Um, just because those are the days, uh, Gabby normally doesn't work, um, the weekends and then Sundays we can go to church. So we used to go Saturday nights to church. Um, but if it's a Saturday night that we end up going out, um, then we will go to church Sunday morning. Anyway, 
So we went to a comedy club. We absolutely love comedy shows. So let me know down below, like, what are your go-to date night things? So we've been to the comedy show. This is our third time in the last couple weeks. We did a paint and wine, um, which we don't dr really drink wine, but we do like it to do the painting part. Um, we did something else. What else did we do? Three comedy shows, a paint and wine thing. I feel like we did something else, but I don't know. Anyway, I did see we do want to do axe throwing again. And then we also want to do glass blowing, axe throwing and glass blowing. Anyway, so I would love to hear if you guys have ever done either one of those two things. We have done axe throwing one other time. Um, so I'm excited to do that again because I picked it up e easily, I guess, and I could throw it and I could hit the actual, the board, right? Um, it wasn't, I was just my aim to get the, like the bullseye was not that amazing, <laughs> but my husband, Ricky couldn't like, he would throw it just fine, but almost every single time it would hit the wall and then bounce off. It wouldn't actually like go into the wood. He'd, every time he'd throw it, it would land backwards and it would hit the thing and fall on the ground. And so then he started throwing the ax backwards. Like, so <clears throat> normally you want to step with your foot as you throw the ax, right? And you want the, the ax, the sharp end to be pointed at the bullseye. Well, he realized that if he turned the ax around and had the sharp end behind him when he threw it or facing behind him when he threw it, that when it would hit the wall, it would actually hit sharp side in and stick. So like halfway through our game, right, he was losing and then he turned the ax around so that the sharp end was facing back when he threw it and then he got a bullseye every freaking time. So he came from behind losing and won. I was so freaking mad. Anyway, so tonight we just went to a comedy show. But we absolutely love um, Saturday night date nights. And so we've done, like I said, we've done three comedy shows and then a paint and wine. I feel like we did something else, but... Oh, we went to a football game one weekend. Went to a football game, the state championship, or not the state championship. It was like the <coughs> the playoffs to the championship. Anyway, so that's why we have been um, off of social media for the majority of today is because um, priorities are never in conflict and we are a priority. Our marriage is a priority. So, um, so yeah, we do date nights on Saturday nights. So if you didn't see me, that's why. And I'm not going to apologize. I actually just make appointment to today, next week. You made an appointment for what? Axe throwing? What'd you make an appointment for? Axe throw. Yay! I'm excited. It's super fun. I never in a million years thought that I would want to go axe throwing. Like, I'm like, that just sounds dangerous, right? But it's actually really fun. So I would love to know what are your like go to date night things and not just like dinner and a movie because we can do that with the kids, but like stuff that we can do as um, adults. And most of the time when we do our date nights, we do it with another couple. Um, we just love doing, we just love doing life with them. And so we like to do stuff together. So three, all of our, all of our, um, all of our comedy shows and um, our paint and wine and everything we did with them. Oh, we went to an arcade tonight and we have such a blast with his co-workers. Thank you for coming on saying this because I felt so stressed. Heck yeah. No, you know what? Here's the thing. Priorities are never in conflict. 
And if you tell me for the next 90 days that I can't spend time with my husband, not even a couple hours a day, one out of the week, or like I can't specifically have a movie night with my kids on a Friday night, no. <laughs> if this last year taught us anything about like showing up for our people and having that time, I would tell you to take your job and shove it where the sun doesn't shine. The whole reason why I got into this business was because I, I didn't want to be somebody's cog. I didn't want to be just a number on somebody's books. I didn't want to be replaceable. I didn't want... I didn't want to have to choose time over my family versus time making money. That was just not a thing. More power to you if that's what you want to choose. Um, but I will work my ass off. And I said the ASS word because it's after midnight and kids should be in bed. But um, I will work my ass off every single minute of the day, the entire rest of the week. But come Saturday, you best believe I will turn my phone off. And the only ones that I will re I will answer to are my kids if they send me a 911 text. You know, like, no. Uh, if the last year showed me anything, it's our lives are literally split-second decisions. We lost another friend of ours, lost her husband today to COVID. He's been in the hospital a day longer than Ricky had been. He went in the day before Ricky did, and he passed away yesterday. So if the last year showed us anything, it showed us what our priorities are, and our priorities will never be in conflict. And so that's just how I feel about it. If if your business is number one priority and and you need you need to make a certain amount of money and and you need to go hard every single day for 90 days then go hard every single day for 90 days but i will go hard six and a half days if that means that i get a half a day with my husband where i actually get to spend time with him and actually get to bond with him because for 34 days I didn't even get to look him in the eye. So that's my thing. <coughs> the guy I had you pay for a prep pass on Christmas. Oh no. I, you know, um, I get more and more messages like that. Um, and it, it used to be really hard for me when I would get the messages like, oh, you know, so-and-so was in the emergency or, you know, in ICU on a ventilator and they passed away or so-and-so passed away or that person I had you pray for pass away. And it used to be really hard. I'm not saying it's not. It still kind of like puts me back in that, in that space. Ooh. It's, <laughs> hearing those stories and seeing those posts and trying to walk somebody through that part. I think that's the hardest part of our journey is walking the people through it and trying to figure out how they can move forward because like I don't understand why some people are saved and some people are not. I don't understand why some people get to come home and some people don't. And I asked that too. I'm like, I don't understand. Like we've prayed so hard for so many people and those people didn't get to come home, but Ricky did. And that's another reason why, like, yes, is this a 90 day run? Yes. Am I gonna work really hard during this 90 days? Yes. 
but am I going to take a Saturday afternoon and evening off and spend it with my husband? Yes. <laughs> and am I going to feel guilty about it? Not one second. Because I know what 34 days felt like without him. I don't want to feel that ever again. And, um... I can't imagine the people that have to deal with that. The people that have to say goodbye to their loved ones and not get to say hello again. Like, I can't... Mm, I won't do that. <laughs> so... Whew. See? Y'all make me cry. Ay, ay, ay. Anyway... Um, I just think it's super important that you figure out what your priorities are, whatever those priorities are and whatever your number one priority is, that's the thing that takes precedence over everything else. <laughs> and as much as I love my business and I love the team that we have, um, they'll always come second to my husband. And, um... I love our team, like love our team. And I've never seen a group of women who will pray so freaking hard for you. I've never seen a group of women who will love you so unconditionally as our team did. Um, so when I say I love our team so, so much, but they know that family always comes, family always comes first. I tell them that all the time. So I don't expect them to, I don't expect them to do something that I wouldn't. <laughs> we know you love us. Um, I hear you. I've been going through a lot with my boyfriend since October. Oh, Oh, nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong. <laughs> nothing's wrong. I just got emotional. It's okay. <laughs> this is why I, lo oh, I love you too. Oh, I did not know the boys were going out to lunch today. Oh, I don't know if you knew that. I might have just gotten Matt in trouble. Anyway, <laughs> probably should have asked if he told you they went out to lunch today. Uh, but if I would have known, <laughs> crap, <laughs> sorry, Matt. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyways, um, I would have sent your present with him, but I didn't know that he, Ricky said he didn't know until he drove past the church and saw Matt's car. And so they, and they picked Matt up and took him to, to lunch or breakfast. I guess it was like brunch. Sorry, Matt. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> my bad my bad we'll blame it on Ricky it's fine Ricky made him go <laughs> oh god I'm gonna have to tell Ricky I'm gonna be like I just got Matt in trouble <laughs> oh crap oh man anyway <laughs> Well, we'll just have to go out tomorrow and leave the boys with all of the children. Oh, you have church tomorrow. You have church all day tomorrow. Never mind. Scratch that. <coughs> Sometime this week, we'll make the boys take all of the kids. The baby can come. Ileana can come with the girls. But all the boys can stay home with the boys. <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to come on and say hi. Say I love y'all and thanks for hanging out with us. Um, Monday we can, Monday, uh, Ricky has, uh, Brave. Monday, Ricky has Brave. So, no. <laughs> but, Tuesday maybe? Anyways. I just wanted to come on and let you guys know, hello, I hadn't forgotten about you. It, we just had, we had date night and that's a non-negotiable for me. So yeah, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Anyways, I love you all. I hope you guys all had an amazing Saturday and I hope you guys enjoy your Sunday. I am going to 
um, go through the fridge since we only have one in the garage. Um, we're going to go through the fridge, figure out meals that we have left from last week that we didn't make, and then figure out if I need if I need to go shopping this week. I don't think I do because I think what we have is enough. Um, and then we will do some meal prepping. Um, <coughs> the heart doctor, his, um, heart procedure he had on Wednesday, um, it, uh, kind of went as planned. Um, so he meets with the heart failure clinic again on, um, the 18th to figure out a course of action. Um, the problem that he has with his heart is not curable. Is uncurable, yeah, is not curable. Um, so they can uh, give him medicine to hopefully um, handle the I don't even know how to explain it without telling you what it is and he doesn't want to tell anybody yet. So, um, anyway, it can't be fixed. It can't, um, he can't like change his diet and start working out and strengthen his heart. It's just not something that that can happen there. It can't happen. Um, so they're going to give him medication for the symptoms. Um, and go from there. So um, we'll have more information and a, a course of action um, when he meets with the heart failure clinic on the 18th. Um, and then at that point, if he wants to tell everybody what's going on, um, then he can do that. Right now he doesn't want to. So I'm not, not gonna spill those beans because that's his story to tell, so. But, yeah, that's it. So I guess it went as planned. <laughs> the procedure was fine. So, anyways, I made a milkshake and didn't even tell y'all what I was doing. So, <laughs> um, I used birthday cake protons. So that's ketones, protein, and MCT oil. And then I put in, um um serving of chocolate swirl as well so those are both proteins ketones and mct all in one um and then i mixed it with whoa i just flung that i mixed it with almond milk and heavy whipping cream a little bit of heavy whipping cream and some almond milk this is unsweetened almond milk um and some ice i made a milkshake Because I promised Noah that I would. So, I'm going to take this upstairs and share it with Noah while we watch a movie. Or at least part of a movie. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for hopping on. Uh, come join us tomorrow. Like I said, this is a 90-day run. This is day six. Um, I've gone live every single day, and I will continue to go live all the way through the 90-day run. So, you will always see this face. Um, maybe not this face cause this freaking hurts, but, um, I blew my nose and then wiped my skin off the other day. Just so you know, if you're wondering, this is not a booger, <laughs> it's skin or lack thereof. It's really sore actually. Anyway, that was probably TMI, but, um, <laughs> so you will see this day for this face. You have for the last six days. You will for the next 84. Did I do the math right on that? Yes, 84 days. Uh, anyways, <laughs> thanks for hanging out. Thanks for hopping on. If you're watching this on the replay, that little red live button is no longer there. And you can drop hashtag replay down below so I can say hi to you anyway. And uh, we love and appreciate you all so much. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Or... <laughs> Later today. <laughs> Bye.